Hello everybody, and welcome back. I thought I'd take a crack at something a little bit different today, which is kind of conceptualizing an idea for a future feature that I'd like to see in the game. I cannot make it clear enough that the iteration and the design that I'm going to present in this video does not have to be anything similar to the finished product. There's plenty of ways that I can imagine this being better implemented than the way that I'm visualizing it here. I'm visualizing it this way because it's what makes sense in the context of the visual resources we have to work with and a way that I can present it to get my idea across. That out of the way though, I came up with this idea while I was scrolling through the Steam achievements recently and I realized there's actually a Steam achievement to hit 1000 weak points. And I thought this was rather funny because I actually got this achievement within my first week of playing the game. And in fact, a lot of the Steam achievements seem to happen very quickly, if not extremely naturally. This got me thinking of some more and more detailed ways to track stats and more detailed achievements. And this brought me to a concept that I'm tentatively going to refer to as weapon mastery. A lot of modern shooters are getting into this habit of adding certain achievements, unlocks, and accolades for doing certain things with certain weapons in certain situations. While I don't want to be too extremely specific with it, I think there's some very interesting niches that the overclocks could provide in making some unique challenges that can force you to play into an overclock strengths. But I'm getting ahead of myself. The way that I visualize this is whenever you go into the weapon terminal, you look in the bottom left corner of the screen and you'll see a progress bar and a mastery button. This mastery bar would indicate the progress you will have made on overall mastery unlocks, or alternatively, I think it could unlock cosmetics as you go along in the milestones. So say there's 100 milestones for the PGL. Every 15, you could unlock a new weapon skin. So that could be what this bar is tracking, either through a ratcheting path, unlocking with every notch as you level up your masteries, or it could do a smooth overall unlock to just indicate how far you are through all of the masteries at once. Obviously, it would be a great idea to have weapon skins and frameworks tied to these for the specific weapon that you're leveling up to further indicate that you're gaining a mastery over that weapon, along with something else that we'll get into later. But when you click on this mastery button, it would switch out the gear mods panel in the weapon terminal to show you the mastery challenges. These challenges would range from extremely generalized things to very specific niche scenarios. The ones that I formulated here are obviously just the tip of the iceberg. I would hope that there'd be more than this and more detailed ones as well. And the numbers that I'm presenting are obviously just a rough ballpark estimate. I don't think it's too unreasonable to say hit 10 enemies with a single grenade 250 times in all the time that you're using the PGL with all of the different overclocks. I think this counts as a creative writing project based on all the funny names that I found to come up with these for these challenges. I can't lie, I was heavily inspired by Borderlands 2's badass rank system to, when coming up with these. The second part of the weapon mastery challenges that I conceive for each weapon is overclock dependent challenges. I would definitely want more than one per overclock so you just don't feel like you're doing one specific thing when you're using an overclock, but I think these kind of capture the essence of each overclock and what it does well. Obviously, I think it would be very funny to have a single one of one mastery challenge to nuke a fester flea with Fat Boy. I don't want it to be, you know, do it a hundred times, but I think having it done once or twice would be a funny and easy unlock. Once again, these are very funny to name. So other than weapon skins and paint jobs, what would you actually get out of these mastery challenges? And that's what takes us to the second part, and what I think could be quite an easy and rewarding implementation in the game. New titles. If you're over level 76, you're probably pretty familiar with the words Lord of the Deep. The titles themselves are one of those elements of DRG that you really just have no control over, and are just purely consequentially something you obtain as you level up. There's no active input I have between being a rock hauler and a cave runner. The title doesn't make any difference to me because I didn't electively choose to be it. And being stuck at Lord of the Deep from level 76 to over 3000 doesn't mean anything either because I didn't do anything special to aim for that title. So the title means nothing to me and it might as well not even be there. But I have a couple ideas to implement better titles. In addition to tying titles to things like Steam Achievements or KPI Perk Milestones, we can also tie titles to the weapon mastery system. So whenever you'd go into your wardrobe, you would have another option above your character's head that would allow you to select a drop down and pick from a list of all the titles that you have unlocked. 
In this context, notably, some of these would be weapon-based. So classes could equip a special title for their weapon to indicate they have a certain inclination for it, and also you could have an overarching title that indicates that you've mastered 100% of the way all of your weapons. And maybe even a title to say that you've mastered all the class's weapons all the time. I think there's also a lot of untapped potential for little funny things when it comes to titles. Also, I think another key element of rounding off this feature its implementation in the game would be adding some sort of mid-mission pop-up to indicate that you've completed a mastery. You should definitely be able to turn these off as I think they'd get quite annoying for some, but personally I think it'd be very rewarding to have the pop-ups come up throughout the game as you're doing the challenges. Now I'm sure a lot of the complaints and concerns that I'm going to hear is that a lot of these challenges would make play people play the game sub-optimally or differently or in a way that's inherently unfun. And I think that's a very valid concern. And that should be considered while designing the objectives and the nature of the challenges. I'm absolutely not advocating for there to be a nuke your teammates to death mastery challenge. Because regardless if it's only one time, that's just bad form. As much as this would fundamentally change the game and make us chase milestones instead of just inherently playing the game for fun and style, I do have this amazing mental image of four engineers loading up on RJ250 and Slayer Stout, hopping into a Mac Terra Plague mission and spending an hour jumping around swatting them out of the air to try to master the RJ250 overclock. I'm sure the technical footprint to implement something like this would be pretty severe, but I think this would be a great headlining feature for a season, as it breathes life into all the overclocks in the game, even if they aren't inherently receiving a balancing pass. Because I guarantee you there's plenty of overclocks that you aren't using right now that you might find some enjoyment in. And having that little nudge to put them on and use them for a couple of missions to master their milestones would definitely give you some incentive to try it out and maybe broaden your horizons and find something that you like. And it would give the developers a better data set when people start using all of the overclocks, even if they don't think they're good. This would allow us to say with more confidence that some things are good and some things are bad, and make better balancing decisions because of it. At the end of the day, this is more of a cr just creative project for me, seeing what I can visually interpret and get across to people, and show some funny ideas about what I think could be added to the game. By no means do I think this is the proper implementation of additional challenges, and you could definitely just wrap these into the existing KPI terminal and save yourself the trouble of all the new menuing. But I would definitely like to see some sort of mastery system, or challenges, or persistent things beyond just playing missions and doing secondary objectives added to the game. And to me, it feels like the weapons are the real star of the show, so it only makes sense to focus our attention on them. What do you think? You have any ideas that you'd like to see implemented in a DRG? And who else would rock that buying elf BF title? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.